when we look at how your career has developed and where that voice has taken you to, are you bigger in the recording studio or on stage? Because I do think you're a bit of a phenomenon. If I was a casting producer, I'd be looking around and say, who's available? Who's available to do this? And I think you must be top of the tree all the time. For these oh, things. bless you. I... I, I'm happiest, I think, when I'm on a stage. I like the live experience. I like the spontaneity. I like the kind of instantaneous reaction that you get I'm from so audiences. Tiring. I feel that you're giving it your all, 100% every performance. You've got to, because that day that you don't give 100%, there's going to be someone in the audience who's like, mm, yeah, you know, mm. I've seen her before, that's not her at her best. And, yeah. and I'd be devastated to go on a stage and give 50 of what I've got when I know I've got another 50 well, in the tank. We're going to see you given something here, and this is the new production of The Bodyguard. You've been in The Bodyguard before. They're bringing yeah. it back to the West End in a bigger theatre. Bigger, it's going yeah. to be yeah. bigger <laughs> and better. And yeah, so you are Rachel Maron. Who yes. Is, who is your bodyguard? My bodyguard is Ben Richards, um, who who, uh, fab kind of triple threat, singer, actor, dancer. He was in The Bill, he was in Footballers Wives, he was in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Um, so when yeah. do you start, the two of you now, in The Bodyguard? Um, on the 15th of July right. is when it all kicks, it all off. kicks off. Yeah, And it's a bigger theatre? Bigger theatre. So the same show, or have they changed anything? It's been, it's been made even more fabulous, yeah. so there will be more fabulosity. So if even because it's it. so popular, if people have seen it, they can come back, they'll see yeah, something new. Yeah, they'll see something new, and... for yeah. sure. For but sure. what about, do, what do we see new from you? When you go on stage there, do you act the, the role of the character or do you act Whitney Houston? Because a lot of people might be, that's the comparison, isn't it? It's, I'm on stage to play Rachel Maron, so that's Mm. why I'm I'm there and that's who I'm I'm following all the time. Of course I'm I'm sensitive to the fact that people um have their memories of Whitney. It's horrible to say the memories, yes, you know, it's sad, no longer it? here. Exactly. They have that. So you're sensitive to that, but um I'm I, I'm acutely aware that I'm playing Rachel Maron. I'm not playing it's not Bev plays Whitney playing yeah. Rachel Maron. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. And um, you're saying they're very sad that she's no longer with us. Also yeah. not longer with us is Prince, who mm -hmm. I know is a, a very good friend of yours. How did and, you and this you? album, you're dedicating part of this album yeah. yes. um, to Prince. Yeah, I, I did. Um when I just finished uh, the recording of Soulsville and um, then the news came through, which I, if I'm honest, I still haven't quite come to mm. terms with. Um, but I mentioned um, Prince in my thank yous. I did that years ago in um, another album of mm. mine as well, Prodigal Sister. So how did you meet him? Were you, was that through you were working with him? Initially, um, initially it was years and years ago. Um, he was doing a showcase and I was asked mm. along. So I went along and, you know, I was like, oh, it's Prince, oh my God. <laughs> Um, and then over the years, um, the, the, the real connection is when he asked me to, to open for him at the O2. Which must have been an incredible which was moment. The greatest yeah. moment. And uh, then asked me if I'd do some after shows with another late, which mm. Amy Winehouse. Mm. And uh, then went to LA to sing with him. And, so, what are your yeah. memories of him? We obviously know him as the artist, Prince, but what about as a friend? Warm. Funny, very funny, very dry sense of humour, and a man consumed with music. We talked mostly about music. Just well, people a great call man. him a genius. Would yeah. you agree with yeah. that? Yeah, he was. He was um, consummate genius. This album dedicated yes. to three people. Prince is one. Yes. Who are the other two and why? My dad, who passed away in 2010, um, who was a pretty remarkable man, um, and also my dear friend. Uh, Tyrone, who, who passed much longer now, um, in 2003. Um, all different circumstances, um, but just three men who were rocks in, in my your, life. life. And then yeah. two other men, because you're not alone on this, you've done collaborations yeah. with Jules Holland yes. and Jamie Cullum. Absolutely. Two fantastic artists, big favourites of mine, both of them, actually. Oh, fabulous, yeah. Um, that must be lovely when you get that phone call when they say, yes, we'd love to. Oh, I was really chuffed. I, I phoned up Jules and said, come on, Jules, you know you, know you want to play piano on, on my <laughs> track. It, it's a, a version of, um, of Hound Dog. Um, Elvis Hound Dog. Elvis, Elvis Hound Dog, but taking it to its original, which is uh, Big Mama Thornton, mm -hmm. who originally recorded Hound Dog, which is way much, more blues. Much slower. Much slower, kind of bit naughtier. Okay. Um, 
So I asked Jules if he'd play and he was like, yes, no problem. And then asking Jamie, Jamie. as well, we were, were working on this TV drama which will come out next year together and I thought, oh, Shall I just ask him? Yeah, go on then. And I asked him and he agreed so, yes, as well. well. Just very quickly as we're running yeah. out of time, which is always a problem. Um, you mentioned the drama there. This is the new ITV drama called Halcyon. That's right. Comes out next year, which is a bit of a kind of upstairs, downstairs, downton -y exactly. type thing. Exactly. And you play what? And I play Ruby, who is a nightclub singer on tour from the States. That American accent yeah. gets pulled out again. Brilliant. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Um, so we said The Bodyguard uh, back in the Dominion Theatre this time, 15th of July. Yes. The album Soulfill is out. Out That's now. right. It's always yeah. fantastic to see. I don't know how you have time to come in and see it, actually. <laughs> but we, you're always very welcome. Thank you that so was, much. Yeah, that was the one and only Beverly Knight there with three things to promote. <laughs> Normally you just get one person on one yeah. thing, but she had three things At there. At least three. We worry about you. Just oh, put, I'm all right. Take it while it's <laughs> there. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. So I thought, OK, let's go for it. And I had Ben Wishaw sitting beside me in his underwear. So the two of us are sitting there and I'm all humped over. And Colin Farrell turned round and looked at me and just blatantly burst out <laughs> laughing at me. 